2018, Honda Fit First Drive still the benchmark Indiana a shrinking subcompact class. Walk into Honda Performance Development and the first thing you see is an Indy 500 winner. Not a man, a car, the yellow DHL supported Dallara Ryan Hunter Ray headed to triumph at the Brickyard in 2014. Its twin turbocharged 600 HP 2.2 liter V6 was worked here at HPD, where the open wheeler is plunked smack dab amidst its small anteroom in Valencia, California, about 30 miles north of Los Angeles. You actually have to walk around it to get from the facility's glass front way to its front work area. Honda says racing has always enhanced its road cars. Indeed, even its least costly model, the 2018 Honda Fit, benefits from the company's vast motorsports involvement, according to Sage Marie, Honda's assistant VP of advertising. An amateur racer, Marie has raced Pikes Peak, as well as Baja, and in 2015 he won the 25 Hours of Thunderhill in a fit fitted with HPD's race package for the little hatchback. Through the winding canyons east of Valencia, not far from Magic Mountain's massive exciting rides, the 2018 Honda Fit isn't exactly an excite ride, however it is entertaining. You can't expect excessively from a 130 HP front driver on all-season elastic. Nonetheless, the Fit is small, light, and responsive. Our first go-round is in a Fit Sport with a 6-speed manual transmission. It's the combination to get. The shifter is tied with short tosses, and the grasp action is light, so it's unpredictable cordial. There's great control more than 3000 RPM, and the 1.5 liter likes the highest point of detach. It remains smooth as it approaches its 6,800 RPM redline. In spite of the additional insulation, Honda still gives you a chance to hear the Fit's engine. Unfortunately, its exhaust note is kind of nasal. It sounds like Ray Romano doing an impression of a two-fold overhead cam four-cylinder. There's also some remaining vibration in the throttle pedal, sufficiently only for enthusiast drivers to feel a mechanical association with the power plant. The Fit's last pull update was back in 2015, so this revive is all around planned to keep the hatchback ahead of such rivals as the Ford Fiesta, Chevy Sonic and Hyundai Accent. The 2018 model is similarly as versatile and economical as ever, yet now it's also safer, calmer, and its steering feel and suspension tuning are again the section benchmarks. The Fit's new sport trim level also adds drama with its black haggles and striping, and it's a solid value when you think about its standard gear. Honda anticipates that it will make up 18% of sales. That said, it's still no hot hatch. Until the point that Honda chooses to make a Fit SI or a Fit Type R, those looking for performance over ultimate practicality should still shop the Ford Fiesta ST, packing 197 turbocharged HP and 17-inch handles. By Scott Oldham.